All right, we are almost to Halloween, and I thought we would do some cookies, because I know somebody who really likes cookies. Who likes cookies? Scarlett! That's right, Scarlett does. So, we're gonna make some cookies, uh, and traditionally, at holidays, we make sugar cookies, but Robin, my wife, uh, prefers shortbread. So we're gonna make shortbread, but we're gonna decorate those with royal icing later on. So, uh, what we got? Pretty basic ingredients when it comes to shortbread cookies. We got flour, butter, salt, sugar, and vanilla. Okay, so that's all we need. Uh, and we're gonna get these in our KitchenAid and get those mixed up. Uh, so we'll start with uh, our sugar. And we need a cup of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. And my one cup doesn't actually fit in here, so I'm going to use the half cup two times. And I'm going to just go right into the, to the KitchenAid here. So, uh, one cup. Okay. And then we'll get this out of the way. And then uh, we need butter, and we need room temperature butter. The problem is, is that I took my butter out, but I didn't take it out early enough. So now I have kind of room temperature butter. Uh, and I don't want to put this in here as a big blob because uh, it's just hard on the mixer. So I'm going to actually use a, a grater, uh, and this is probably the best thing that I ever bought from Ikea. Uh, I love this thing. So anyhow, we're going to grate this butter, uh, and I'm going to cut it into, into an, it's a weird thing, right? Why are you grating butter? But anyhow, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. The only downside of grating butter is that your hands get all greasy. Right, Scarlett? Uh -huh. Right? Look okay. <laughs> it. Chill out. So then we have our grated butter here. And I'm just getting this. Oh, can you get that old piece? Thank you. Is your finger greasy? No. Here, here's a napkin. Okay. Let me see if I can rip it in half. There you go. Thank you. are welcome. Oh, but why do you need to rip it in half? Because you didn't need the whole napkin. You only needed half. I miss the garbage can. I want to go in the garbage can. No, you don't. He <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so we got our butter. Our butter is in the mixer, so we need to uh, cream the butter. And so, your mixer has a few different attachments. You have a dough hook, so this is gonna be used for yeast breads and things like that. Uh, you have a whisk, uh, which is not, we're not gonna use this for doughs, uh, but if you're doing like meringues or whipped cream, things like that, this is a great attachment for that. And then we have uh, the paddle or the pretzel, some people call it. Uh, you're gonna use this to, to really kind of get things uh, combined. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do here. So I got my mixer not plugged in. There we go. And so what I'm gonna do is basically get a nice uniform mixture of this and it should be light and fluffy uh, and you shouldn't be able to tell where the sugar is and where the butter is. It should be a nice uniform mixture. the camera. What do we have? A bat, a casket, what else? Uh, an owl and a ghost, what else? A pumpkin and another pumpkin. A couple of pumpkins, another pumpkin, pumpkin and it looks like a kitty. 
uh, and then a super pale yellow. Okay, so that's what we have for our creamed butter. We are going to add in. No, it's just butter and sugar, and I like that. Uh, we're going to add in uh, a teaspoon of vanilla. Teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to turn this. Can you turn that on? Flip the switch. There you go. All right, so we're going to get that combined. And then we also need uh, a little bit of salt. Uh, I need a half a teaspoon of salt. Where are you going? Put my cap on. This is dangerous. All right. Not dangerous, but it's an accident waiting to happen. So I need uh, three and a half cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna give this a quick little stir here. Okay, we can add this. Can you use your hand and scrape some of that flour in for me? Like this. The flour. Scoop the flour in. There you go, yeah. Good job. Wow, this is really soft. Okay, perfect. Okay, good job. All right. So now we're going to turn this back on. Now here's the here's the problem that people make sometimes. They'll turn this on and it'll, like flour will go flying. Okay, so you want to go slow on this. Some of you might have a little lid that goes on your mixer. I have one, but I don't know what happened to it. So, oh, just lost a little bit there. Low speed until this all comes together. It's called shortbread. Huh, shortbread? You're short. All right, I'm going to bring you over here real quick so you can see what we're working with. So we've got our doughs come together and I don't really want to over mix this because I don't want to build up a ton of gluten this should be a really sort of delicate cookie all right so we will get this shortbread out of here like when you do like chocolate chip cookies you have like an egg and extra moisture in here the only moisture that we have is uh, from our butter so, get this out. And then here, look at this little mini cookie. Here, you eat it. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of mash this together. Oops. I'm not like really kneading this too hard. I'm just bringing it together. You can see how quickly that turns into a dough ball for us. Daddy. Now, what? Can I have a little more? Yeah, just a minute. Okay. Okay, I need, Cameron, go grab me a sheet pan out of the thing. Hold on. No, sheet pan. Sheet. You want some more? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, you need to set it down right there. Okay, there's our camera guy. Okay, so I'm making a disc out of this. <clears throat> it's like a wheel of cheese here. Right. One more. One more. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right out of the center, just so all the OCD people can get all anxious. Okay, so here's the deal. We need to 
put this back in the fridge and let it chill for 30 minutes before we start to uh, roll it and mold it. We're going to start with our uh, big dough. I'm going to cut this in half. Ooh, this looks good. Can I have a black bone gap? No. Alright. A little, a little piece. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm going to get a little bit of sugar now. Sorry, that cabinet is like a monster in my cabinet there. Alright, I'm going to throw a little bit of... No. No, in a minute. We're going to make cookies. Um, since we're making cookies, I'm going to actually dust my counter with powdered sugar versus with <clears throat> flour. So, hey, can you do me a favor and stop humming? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. So, I always have students. No, you cannot have a bite. When it's cooked, you can't. Okay? All right. So I just have students that are concerned about the dough because they put it in the fridge and then it gets hard. Uh, again, that's that. Butter is hardening up on it, but we can give this a press. And I'm just gonna use this rolling pin. And I leave these pretty thick. Scarlett, you need to stop humming, okay? So we can't hear what's going on. All right, so what should we do first? What shape? What shape? Ghost. No, no. This one? Yeah. Okay, you wanna come and do it? Yeah. Move your chair. We're gonna do some owls here, okay? So we got our little owls. Now, one thing that I, oh, Scarlett, no, 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 you're gonna break it. One thing that I will do with mine is I'll put them back in the fridge. Uh, so that, go put move your chair and I'll give you a piece. I want you to move your chair right here. And this is all you get. Don't ask for any more. And you want to try to get as many out of the roll as you can the first time. Because the more times that you like need this dough and remash it and reshape it, uh, the, the tougher your cookies can get. Steal off the cutting board. No. Don't touch it. No, Ruby didn't get any yet. Bottle, I didn't get any. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't get any. Can I have this one? Here, have that, and leave me alone. <laughs> Driving me crazy right now. Get out of here, you bunch of scavengers. I, I gave you a piece, you animal. That's for you, Cameron. Oh, too late. Okay. Don't. I know you are. One back. Okay. 
Stop it. I'm not done in it. Okay. So let's see. I've never done witch fingers before, but let's see. Hey, that's for mommy. Snoozy loods, I guess. Okay, so I got this green dough. I'm just gonna roll this into a cylinder. I don't know, I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this, but. So I'm gonna give it a little squeeze here and here to make it like a knuckle. And then, let's see. I'm gonna put a couple little lines here, like a knuckle. And then I have these little almond slivers. Ooh, how's that look? I don't know. Kind of proud of myself right now. This is actually pretty good. All right, don't touch it. Don't touch the finger. Why? Oh. You're so scared of them? Good, then they're doing their job. My pretty. All right. What's the witch's name in Snow White? Oh, that's her name? Yeah, Evil Queen. Oh, Evil Queen is her name. Oh, I thought... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who's the one that we saw the movie with the horns and got her wings cut off? That's Maleficent. Oh, Maleficent. Isn't that in Snow White? Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> who's in Snow White? Um, I'm Evil Queen. Queen. She, put the, she put the shell on it and make it look like a witch. Oh, okay. Watch out for those fingers. You don't want them to get you. Okay. All right, here we go. So we have our witch fingers. We have our, can you show this real quick? Can you see it on the camera? Okay, so we have witch fingers. We have um, caskets, pumpkins, bats, owls, cats, and ghosts. So I think we got it all covered. Okay, we are done. We have our cookies all. Miss Carla is so excited for cookies. We have our cookies uh, baked and chilled. Uh, I saved you the step of watching me put them in the oven and then set a timer and then take them out. So we've got them uh, cooled. It's actually the next day. Um, so I made sure to wrap those up really tight after they cool down. Um, and I have them all sorted here. We've got our royal icing uh, stuff ready to go. So we'll get that going. So we're gonna start with two tablespoons of uh, meringue powder. Uh, and I got this at the um, craft store. So meringue powder over by the baking section. So two tablespoons of that. I'm just gonna get that into our mixer. And then uh, I'm just gonna use water and I'm gonna use six tablespoons uh, of water. So one. Perfect. All right, and we're gonna turn this on. And what I wanna do with this is just get this mixing uh, and create a foam in here, okay? So this will be
Mix it. That's good. Good job. Thank you. Here. That looks like. Okay, so we have this um, ring. I'm sorry, the overhead light is really kind of uh, blowing this picture out, but uh, basically just super foamy. Looks like soap suds. Yeah, mix it. There you go. All right, good job. I'm gonna add the sugar in now. Okay, move this spatula. Good job, you did a great job. Well, the mixer will mix it. No, I don't mix it. No, because it'll get it'll get stuck all over this. Okay. All right. So again, if you have the uh, lid, this is going to be a good thing for you. I don't have that, so I'm going to mix this slowly, and then we'll crank it up. And this is going to basically uh, we should have out of our royal icing. We should be able to get stiff peaks out of that. So stiff peak when we're when we're talking about like meringue is we could get it on here and this peak would stay standing up. So when I flip this over, uh, this should stand up straight. But it bends over. That's a soft peak. Make sense? Pretty good. No. Stop. Get out of here, you already licked it. It's like double dipping, it's gross. Okay? All right, I'm pretty happy with that. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go just another, I'm not gonna rush it. No, please stop asking. I'm gonna find a new assistant. Let's put it in a little bag because I need to put it in this bottle. So, uh, I got it in the bag. Seal this up, and then I'm going to here. A little bit in there, eat it, and then Rubby gets the next one. Okay, so the white, I didn't do any um, any pigment to it. Uh, next one is going to be orange, and I'm just going to do one color, and then uh, and then I'll turn off the camera and do the rest. Okay, so we have our orange, and then I have these uh, food gels. Okay, so I got this orange, and we need to use a toothpick because we don't want to be sticking our... No, next one's for the camera. Our camera guy, he always gets left out. You get everything. You get everything, he gets nothing. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, some of the orange food coloring on our toothpick, and I'm just gonna use this cup as my vessel. You can use like the liquid gels, or like the liquid food coloring. I don't care for those as much. I feel like it kind of waters down here. Uh, your frosting. So I've got my uh, gel in there, and then I'm just going to stir this with a spoon until I get the right color that I want. And I think that's actually pretty good. It almost seems like I know what I'm doing. So we're just going to, this is what's called piping. So we're just going to do the outside the steady hand, which I don't have right now. Three-year-old has my blood pressure high. So I'm just tracing, basically. And this is the thicker um, frosting, royal icing, and I'm just gonna do an outline, okay? And then once that gets, once this sits up and gets kind of crusty, uh, I'll come back in and backfill it. And I'm going, I don't know, an eighth of an inch off the cookie, and I'm letting the, the icing fall from the bottle to the cookie, okay? And you don't want to go right to the edge in case this like tends to spread out or settle a little bit.
what we're gonna do is actually use the same bottle. So I have orange, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little, just like a teaspoon or less than that, and then just give this a shake and thin this out, and then we'll be able to, to uh, backfill that. And once we backfill it or flood it, basically we fill in that perimeter. That's when we can do our like sugar sprinkle uh, or little decorations, whatever you wanna do, okay? All right, ready? All right, so we have our cookies outlined. I started flooding one. My, my uh, royal icing was still just a little bit too thick. Scarlett's got some orange sprinkles, so we're gonna do uh, a couple of these pumpkins here. So basically what we wanna do when we're flooding is we just wanna backfill wherever we uh, did the strategic, so the outlining. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this here. shake and fill in our spots. I don't want this to be too um, wet. Some folks will like their flood uh, to be a little bit thinner. I don't because I'm going to put sprinkles on it and I want those to stay on top and if your icing is too thin when you're um, flooding then your sprinkles could sink to the bottom. So I want mine and then I'll just use a toothpick to, to fill in the gaps. Right? So I got this one done. Scarlett, if you want to open those sprinkles, here, hold your little mitten now. Hold your hand up. Yeah. And put those on the cookie. Okay? One at a time, or all of them. Spread them around though, you don't want them all in one spot, right? 